good evening students we have come to the end of uh, uh, unit 5 which is nothing but differential equations in the previous video we discussed uh, uh, about uh, sturm liouville's differential equation and we, we obtained the function and all those things and in fact we learnt about this is about homogeneous equation so sturm liouville's uh, differential equation is nothing but homogeneous differential equation that is on right hand side it should be equal to zero then in the last video lecture we discuss about green's function which was about inhomogeneous differential equation now we are going to combine these two that is sturm liouville's uh, differential equation or operator operates on green function which will give us dirac delta function and this is the uh, last topic in the unit so this is about sturm liouville's type equation in one dimension and their green function so we are going to combine the previous video and the last video lecture so it says that the operator sturm liouville's differential operator lx operates on the green function will give us dirac delta function so very very important idea and we know that uh, the differential operator of sturm liouville's is given by equation 1 d by dx times p of x dg by dx plus q of x g so which is nothing but your sturm liouville's differential operator which is given as equation 1 here the solution is nothing but your g that is green function and p of x is a well behaved function and we can differentiate p of x so it's a differentiable function q of x is a continuous function in this equation and green's function of a sturm liouville's differential operator is defined as so very very important one as i said earlier your differential operator operates on green function which will give us dirac delta function so as i said earlier green function minimum there will be two variables x comma x prime so similarly dirac delta function also so dirac delta function x minus x prime suppose if x equals x prime the answer is 1 so we know elsewhere it is zero so this is the property of dirac delta function now you substitute just a substitute equation 1 in in equation 2 so we will have equation 3 so lx is nothing but your equation 1 you substitute the expression for your lx here we will get equation 3 so very simple idea so what are the solution here the solution is nothing but g as i said earlier g is the solution g is nothing but your green function now you just take uh, the slab like this as shown in the figure you just take a slab so we are going to we are going to have a boundary as i said earlier we have for sturm liouville's problem as well for green function we need to have boundary values only then we can solve so we have now look at the boundaries here at the slab you have x equals a here this is region 1 is this is this is called as region 1 and in region 2 this is x equal to b the other end of the slab x equal to b and in region 3 we have x x dash see x prime is here x dash is here it means you have green function in this region 1 green function in region 2 and in region 3 it is continuous function see here you have at x prime it is continuous it's very important idea uh, in region 1 we will go for now region 1 to solve green function we are going to use sturm liouville's differential operator equation okay so now in region 1 what is the region 1 region 1 is goes like this a less than or equal to x less than x prime so region 1 lies here somewhere so very important thing here a less than or equal to x less than or not equal it's very important one less than x prime and what about uh, right hand side right hand side is nothing but your dirac delta function just now we looked into equation 3 dirac delta function but here as i said as i said earlier elsewhere it is zero when x equals x prime the answer is 1 so in this region region 3 answer is 1 because here at x equals x prime whereas here in this region so del uh, chronological delta function del of x minus x prime in this here in this region is zero so we have the green function of a sturm liouville's differential operator is given by 
equation 4. See right hand side, look at the right hand side. It is del x minus x prime which is equal to 0 here. And g1, we have written as g1 because we are uh, discussing about region 1. So dg1, so d by dx times p of x, dg1 by dx, dg1 of x comma x prime plus q of x, g1 of x comma x prime which is equal to 0. So now we are going to solve. We are going to solve, g1 is nothing but your solution. So we are going to take this as y1. So y1 is a solution. So you just substitute, instead of g1, you substitute y1, y1 of x. So y1 of x is the solution of the above equation obeying the given boundary condition at x equal to a. So in this region, at x equal to a, the solution, the solution is nothing but your green function which is given as g1 of x comma x prime which is equal to some constant c1 of x prime multiply, multiplied by y n of x. So your green function is the solution which is nothing but y n of x which is directly proportional. Some constant which is the function of x prime, it is not x, x prime. y1 is the solution and constant is nothing but c1 x prime. Our aim is to find out the c1 value, c1 value and substitute here, get the green function. Okay. Now we will go for region 2. In region 2, x prime less than x less than or equal to b. Okay. Now what are the directorial function? Again the, in region 2 it is equal to 0. So your chronicle delta function equal to 0. What is term Livoli's uh, differential equation? It goes like this equation as equation 7. And here the solution is nothing but g2. g2 is the green function. g2 of x comma x prime. So now we, again we are going to solve this uh, differential equation and we can write this equation as y2. So d by dx times p of x dy2 of x divided by dx plus q of x y2 x comma x prime which is equal to 0. Now the solution y2, y2 of x is nothing but your solution. So obeying boundary condition at x equal to b. So this is in region 2. So your g2 of x comma x prime is given as c2 x prime y2 of x. Okay. So now our, our idea is find out c1 and c2 values using the boundary condition. Then we are going to substitute here, substitute here and we can get the value for g1 and g2. So that's the idea. Now we'll go for region 3. That is a region 3 is very important region where, where a continuous function exists. As I said earlier, you have region 1, one wave is there. We have region 2, another wave is there. At the boundary, exactly at x equals x prime, these two waves are continuous. So we can say that the solution of in region 1, g1 of x comma x prime at x equal to x prime, which is equal to the solution of green function in the region 2, which is nothing but g2 of x comma x prime, because the wave function is continuous here. So now we are going to use equation 6 and 9. And of course we know the solution of g1 in the region 1 is given as c1 times x prime y1 of x prime that we know already. Similarly g2, the solution of g2 is given as c2 y2 x prime. So we know already this. At x equals x prime, earlier we wrote as x. Can you remember? Here also we wrote as x. Now it is given as x equals x prime. So x will be changed into x prime. So don't forget. Now you bring this term to this side, this term to left hand side, we will have equation 11. Now, now integrate equation 1, this is our e equation 1. So we have seen already this equation 1. So now we are going to integrate this equation nearer to x equals x prime, that is in the region 3. Now integrate, integrating this equation will give us equation 12. It is very simple. You are going to integrate integration from, see look at the limit now, x prime minus this xi. Xi means small interval. So x prime minus xi to x prime plus xi. Similarly here also, the limit also. Xi stands for a small interval. So you are going to in integrate, see you are going to integrate from this limit to that limit, equation 1. So equation 12 exactly goes like this. Now, look at the right hand side. 
Right hand side your delta function as I said earlier when x equals x prime that is in the region 3 your direct delta function is answer is 1. So, so right hand side answer is 1 now. Now what about uh, this second term on the left hand side. So, we know q of x g x comma x prime dx we know already but it is given as g1 equals g2 because the wave is continuous here you substitute uh, the upper limit and lower limit you will have g1 for the upper limit and g2 for the lower limit what about the answer the answer is 0 so the second term will become 0 what about this side your d by dx and integration will cancel you will have this term alone ok so now p of x times upper limit will be dg2 by dx minus because it acts on dg2 minus dg1 ok dg2 divided by dx minus dg1 divided by dx what is the limit limit is x dash minus i 2 to 2 x dash plus i now you are going to substitute what of the right hand side as it says answer is 1 with this p of x we can bring this p x up to the to the right hand side so that will give us 1 divided by your p of x dash that's why it is termed as a inhomogeneous equation so very important see uh, we have already uh, discussed about the properties of um, uh, la, um, properties of green function which says that g1 and g2 are continuous whereas the differentiation of g1 and g2 they are discontinuous so discontinuous is this one ok now coming to the point now dg2 by dx you just differentiate uh, equation 10 right hand side you will have g2 just differentiate with respect to x so that will give us c2 y2 prime see here differentiation is nothing but prime so you have c2 y2 prime of x prime differentiation of uh, g1 see g1 differentiation of g1 is nothing but c1 y1 dash x prime see here y1 dash x prime which is equal to 1 divided by p of x prime this is equation 13 now solving equation 11 and 13 our aim is to find out c1 and c2 as i said earlier and substitute we will get g1 and g2 which are the solutions of the differential equation at two boundaries so that is our idea now we are going to solve equation 11 and 13 to find c1 and c2 now multiply 11 by y1 prime of x prime and multiply equation 13 by y1 of x prime i repeat c equation 11 and 13 and we can find out c1 and c2 you just multiply equation 11 by y1 prime of x prime and equation 13 by y1 of x prime we will have this equation see look at uh, the equation 11 here see the equation 11 is here we are going to multiply on both sides by y1 prime of x prime and look at the equation 13 the equation 13 is here just multiply by y1 of x prime you will have equation 15 so this equation is equation 11 we have already multiplied by y1 prime of x prime and this is equation 13 we have multiplied on both sides by y1 of x prime see here y1 of x prime right hand side now we are going to add this equation so equation 14 plus equation 15 look at the uh, first term uh, in equation 14 look at the second term in equation 15 they are the same so just opposite sign so we can cancel it out see here they are the same but in the opposite uh, sign so we can cancel these two just add these two so you will have c2 times y2 prime x prime y1 x prime minus c2 see here this one c2 y2 x prime y1 prime x prime which is equal to y1 of x prime divided by p of x prime so pull c2 out as common so we have equation 16 now look at the equation 16 we can solve this equation by determinant so we can solve this equation in terms of determinant so we can write left hand side in terms of determinant and this determinant is called as w of x prime so determinant value is given as this what is w of f x prime this is called the wrong chain. so wrong chain means uh, they are arrays of derivatives of differentiable function in determinant solution whether it is independent or dependent solution one can find out using wrong chain uh, uh, solution so as i said earlier 
see equation in equation 16 we have this one so this can be written in terms of a ronchian determinant so which is given as equation 17 so here c2 multiplied by ronchian determinant which is equal to y1 x prime divided by p of x prime so c2 x prime can be written as y1 x prime divided by w of x prime p of x prime so we have found out now c2 in terms of ronchian see we can find out c2 similarly substitute equation 10 here equation 10 is here in equation 18 and we know equation just take equation uh, 10 here we have already known this equation 10 you substitute for c2 c1 of x prime which is equal to c2 x prime y2 divided by y1 so you substitute for c2 here c2 is given as this one you substitute here so we will have y1 of x prime y2 of x prime divided by y1 of x prime ronchian determinant w of x prime p of x prime and these two terms will get cancel see here these two terms similar terms we can get cancel so uh, it can get cancel so we have c1 x prime which is equal to y2 x prime divided by w of x prime p of x prime so we have found out uh, look at uh, the terms here we have found out c2 values and c2 expressions for c1 c1 and c2 we have found out our aim is to find out green function the solutions of sturm liouville's differential equation uh, in homogeneous differential equation okay our aim is to find out so we have found out now c1 and c2 now we know that e from equation 6 g1 g1 green function for the first region can you remember so g1 of x comma x prime which is equal to c1 of x prime y1 of x so we have found out the expression for c1 you substitute here so we will have g of x comma x prime which is equal to y2 x prime so this is the expression for your c1 see y2 x prime divided by w of x prime p of x prime see this is the equation uh, expression for your c1 you substitute here we will have this expression so this is the one solution what of the region x lies between a and x prime see here a less than or equal to x less than or equal to x prime in the earlier case in region 1 we had written as a less than or equal to x less than x prime we had written but now now here we have written less than or equal to x prime so there's a bit difference because it is continuous here x and x prime they are we have used only c1 we have found out c1 and c2 of course and g1 and g2 they are continuous at the region so that's why we have written as uh, less than or equal to here similarly just equation uh, use equation 7 so equation 7 goes like this g2 of x comma x prime which is equal to c2 of x prime times y2 of x you we know already the expression for your c2 you substitute here we will get uh, the another solution in the region so another solution goes like this your g of x comma x prime which is equal to you substitute for c2 so that will give us y1 of x y1 of uh, x prime here it is x prime there's a mistake here it must be an x prime so y2 x prime divided by w of x prime p of x prime so what about your uh, region so again the same argument goes like this your x lies between x prime and b very important thing is less than both the sides less than or equal to because it includes the wave function it includes a particular region so in the, in the region 2 that is x equals x prime the wave function is continuous so thus we have found out for the slab we have found out part of particular region we have found out uh, the green function for one region to another region using sturm liouville's differential uh, in homogeneous differential equation we have found out the green function so this is for the one dimension problem so thank you students so uh, almost we have finished all the topics in uh, mathematical physics thank you students we'll see you in the next time bye bye students my best wishes to you all